Now this function fx must be more than or equal to 0. Second condition summation of fx over the domain of x must be equal to 1.0. If these two conditions are satisfied, we can call fx as probability density function. Now to solve this, I take a different color, like blue. This function is given as fx equal to c x square plus 4. For the values x as 0, 1, 2 and 3 only. So now considering summation x fx equal to 1, considering this equation from here and x equal to 0 to 3. What it will be? When it is 0, then c 0 square plus 4 plus c 1 square plus 4 plus c 1 square 2 square plus 4 then c 3 square plus 4 will be equal to 1. That will be 4c or we can take out c as common. So it will be 4 plus 5 plus 8 plus 30 will be equal to 1. So c is a value 1 upon 21 and 9, 30. So if we have c as 30, the probability density function will be as x square plus 4 by 30 for the values of for x equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3. So this will be called as probability density function. Now you can sum them for all it will become a one value. Now if we have to find out cumulative density function then cumulative density function is nothing but summation of this to x fx. So that will be having different values for different one. So suppose what is the cumulative value of x equal to 2? That will be nothing but summation x equal to 0 to 2 fx. That is nothing but the values. Take another color. Change the same the color. Summation of these three terms will be equal to this particular value over here. That will come about 4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus 8, 17 by 30. So that will be the cumulative density value for x equal to 2. Take another example. Now in this example what they are demanding for, read the statement, an investment firm offers its customer municipal bonds that mature after varying number of years. Given that the cumulative distribution function of T, the number of years to mature for a randomly selected bond is. Now the function which is given here is cumulative density function. It's not the, it's not fx. This was probability density function and this fx is cumulative density function. So now in this cumulative density function we see that for the final value of the random variable t, 
the probability is 1, which always comes as a case in case of cumulative density function. Now see what they want. At t equal to 5, what is the value of t? So probability is nothing but probability of t is nothing but f x equal to t. So in this case, in the first part, we have to find out the probability for t equal to 5. So that is nothing but cumulative probability for t equal to 5 minus cumulative probability for t equal to 4. Because this is nothing but summation ft less than or equal to 5 minus summation ft less than or equal to 4 to be very clear about it. So it will be what is the value for t equal to 5 is 1 by 2 here and for t equal to 4 is 1 which is nothing but down here. Sorry, t is equal to 5 is 3 by 4. I am sorry for this. This is 3 by 4 and this will be 1 by 2. So that will be equal to 4. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 by 4. Now if you draw this distribution, I just take a different color here and if I want to draw this distribution where there are seven possibilities, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the value of t. If you draw f t, what is the value at less than one is zero. 1 is 0, less than 1 possibility is 0. <coughs> From 1 to less than 3, so 1 to less than 3 is, this number is 1 by 4. Then, 3 to less than 5 is 1 by 2. So, this value is, 1 by 2, then 5 to 7, 5 to less than 7 is, so this value is 3 by 4, I just remove this, just extend this line and see here, what is the value at 7 is, more than 7 is 1. Whatever goes out of 7 is, this is 1. So this is a cumulative probability distribution. You can see the connection over here. Connection over here. So this point comes as 1, this point as 0. So probability of getting either 1 or 2 is nothing but 1 by 4, either 3 or 4 is nothing but 1 by 2, either 4 or 5 or 6 is 3 by 4 and getting 1 is this. So probability of 5 or less than 5 is 3 by 4, probability of 4 or less than 4 is 1 by 2. So that way you are getting the first part of the problem. So now see the second part. Now this figure will help us to solve the problem. More than 3. What is more than 3? More than 3 is subtracting less than 3. 3 or less than 3. So the probability of getting 3 is probability of getting t more than 3 is nothing but 1 minus probability of getting t less than or equal to 3. Because it is more than 3, so 3 will be included on this side. So it is 1 minus 3 or less than 3 is 1 by 
2 minus 1 by 2. Third part, what is the probability of getting 1.426 less than 6. So 1.4 is somewhere here. So 1.4 to less than 6 is 5. So 5 minus the probability of getting 1.4. So this will be the probability of 5 is 3 by 4. The probability of getting 1.4 T6 will be equal to probability of getting T less than or equal to 5 minus probability of getting X T as less than or equal to more than 1.42 you can say because it's the same point over here 2 or 1.4 is the same thing so that is 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 so it is 1 by 2 4 point probability of getting less than 5 when t is more than 2 less than 5 when t is more than 2. When t is more than 2, what is the probability of t more than 2? This will be probability of getting t less than or equal to 5 minus probability of t less than or equal to So that is 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 will be nothing but 1.